Hello everyone. So I want to talk to you today about a good way you can get proposals out to people using a software called Proposify. Now we use this for our business and we use it for some of our clients as well. And it's really great for when you're wanting to make yourself look even better than what you do already. So Proposify is a system where you can send out proposals. I'm just going to show you straight away the back end of it just so that you can see how it all works now here's our metrics here so we've been using this for a few months now um, we sent 41 proposals out all together using this um, and all together we've secured 95 percent of them so we've had two that have not been signed off and completed and we've had 37 that have won so when we send a proposal off we send it off when we get to the point where we've had a discussion with them and we've said we're going to send a quote. So they don't even know the price yet of what this is going to be. So to get a 95% win rate is absolutely amazing and we're very, very happy with that. So I just want to show you what you can do with this and what I mean by it. So what you can actually do is you set up templates for your business and make them look a lot better your proposal so we have several ones here and i'm just going to show you this one here that we've got um, which is our main one that we use for when we're doing digital support so you basically design this out to look how you want to look i've used this for businesses that are trade so you might like fit kitchens or anything like that and i've used it for myself obviously as a business consultant and also as someone who does physical work for people i've done it for people who do social media services seo services people who are business coaches all of that you can use it for that so we've got on here like a front cover and then here you can see it puts in the client name um, we've got our overview and goals and as you can see it just looks nice and um, it puts in our details in there tells me our magical process and then this is the bit that we tend to customize. So you would put in the price of what it would cost for you to do whatever it is that you're quoting. And you can edit this for each of your clients, but you can also include optional extras. So what would happen is when we send this out, it would quote someone for these top two. And if they wanted any of these two, they could tick it off and it would add it to the pricing for it. You can put videos inside of it. So I tend to put a video into ours to give it a more personal feel. You can put as much text as you want in there. You can leave comment boxes so that if people need to leave a comment before they sign it off or they're not sure about it. Um, again, we've put in here about us and pictures of our team in here. And we've even got our contract in here. So we get the terms and conditions all done and dusted in one. And then at the very end, they can sign this off and they can just say, yep, I'm done and dusted. I want to sign this off. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this software so that you can see if it fits you. So weekly, what we would do is we would press generate proposal. And here we start putting in the details of what we want to do. So we can select a client. Um, I'm just going to put add new client. I'm just going to put um i'm gonna put tamara our graphic editor in here and um, but i'll put on my email so it doesn't send her it um there we go and then we'd put the details in as much or as little as you want and then we would press save we already have a contact with that just rude isn't it so it is going to go to tamara's email address so one moment there we go um and that's what we do so there we go we've added tamara to this so we can say who it's going to be. So we just have me as the main person who signs everything off. And then we also do this cool thing that you can do in Proposify where you can basically get a deposit paid for. So we can say, we always say we want a 50% deposit if someone signs the documentation. So what happens is as soon as they sign it, it pops up with a box for them to enter their card details and pay by Stripe, which is absolutely fantastic. It means it saves us a job. It's connected to zero as well. So we click a button after and it creates an invoice in zero, even better, all nicely done and dusted for us. So then what we do is we would press next step. And then what it's going to do, it's going to generate this proposal for us. So it's see, you can see here it says their name. It's put their name in, Tamara Wordsworth. All of this is generally kept the same for all our clients. So I know personally I don't need to go in and edit this. And I would come straight to this pricing table and start editing it out. So I might be like, actually, I don't want to offer the memberships. not really suitable to a self. I can easily delete that out kind of thing. Um, obviously, I can come in here and I can edit the pricing. So anything that I want to edit, I can pop that in there as well. 
and then I'd come in here, change the video. I'd add some details about what we're going to do for this client. And then I'd just make sure I don't need to do anything else, which usually I don't need to do anything else. And that's it. And then when I press share, then what it would do, it would send that out to the client. They would click it, they'd view the proposal, and they'd be able to see what's happening and things. So if I just press share now, then you can see this, we've already got email templates set up. So you can set up email templates to make it look how you want it to look. I'm going to actually send this to the client tomorrow. It's going to be like, oh, what is happening here? Um, so if I just press submit on that, There we go. And now it's sent to the client. So what happens then, if I open this up, I can actually see everything that this person does. So if she views it or she views a certain page or she's been sat looking at the signature box for three minutes. I will know everything. I will know everything that she does with this proposal. And this is what's really good about it, that you can actually check what people are doing. So you might see that they're, constant, they're on page three of your proposal quite often. And you can have a look what's on page three and then fine tune your proposals for the future as well. And you can send reminders all out automatically, which is cool. Um, so yeah, pretty much works real well. So other things that you can do, obviously you can integrate this with Stripe, um, Zero, as I've mentioned before, and you can also connect it to Zapier. So we have it for some clients where they use their CRM, such as we've got a client who uses an active campaign. And what happens is they have it so that in Zapier, um, it basically connects Active Campaign to Proposify so that all the details that are put into Active Campaign get passed through. Um, it keeps a nice database of your clients in there. You can add more users in. You do pay per user, but you can add more users in there. You've already seen the metrics screen there, um, but you can also, so as I mentioned earlier, you can see where people are actually looking. You can see what page people spend most of their time on. So we can see that people spend most of their time on the untitled page. I should have given it a name. The contract page, overview and goals. So you can see, actually, our team, not many people look at that. So people aren't really bothered about knowing about my team. So maybe that's a page I need to get rid of or out of fine tune or anything like that. So you can see some really good ones on there. And then when you come under the reporting one here, you can see the more details all broken down, how much income and all that kind of stuff that you've got brought in there. Obviously, templates, you can have as many as you want. So we've got one for email writing. We've got one for our social media marketing. Um, we've got one for our digital support, one for our SEO. We've got various ones. In the content library here, you use this basically to set up pre, you know, your, your pages that you've got so you can reuse them often. You might want to set up some fees in here. So like, for instance, in our social media content, we've got an extra fee for social media platforms and stuff. And you can get really set up nicely in it. Um, and then you do have a dashboard. I'm not going to win my dashboard for privacy reasons, but you can go in your dashboard and see the states of everything. So how much does Proposify cost? Now, I was a bit, you know, put off by the pricing originally because $49 a month, it's big. For, it was big for my business when it was small. It was huge. It was like, oh, this is a big expense. But actually, it's been amazing. So the amount we've made through our proposals, over £15,000. So it's definitely paid itself. So you pay quarterly. So you don't pay per month. It's actually billed quarterly. And it's $49 a user per month. So the reason that we stick to one. Um, they do have a free account. But you can not You can do some stuff. But um, I personally felt it was much easier to get the actual full team plan um, because there's a lot of features that I'm missing on the free plan that I wanted, such as I wanted it to integrate in with Zapier. I wanted to have custom fields. I wanted them to be able to download it as a PDF. I wanted it to be white labeled and all that kind of stuff. So like, for instance, if someone goes to our proposals, they actually go to uh, our own sales link. So they go to not itmoon.proposify, they actually go to proposals.itmoon.co.uk so it uses our domain. So yeah, that is my review basically of Proposify, how we use it in our business, how you could potentially use it in your business. Um, and I do really recommend it. It does really great job for us. It saves me a lot of time when we're doing proposals. 
it makes them look absolutely amazing clients have always commented how lovely it's been it's made our job easier the fact that people pay their 50 percent deposit straight up from the beginning we've got evidence that terms and conditions have been signed it's just absolutely amazing even like the reminders it can send automatically and things like that it's just fine tunes everything when it comes to that proposal so i will say i could easily not pay this 49 dollars a month and actually start sending my proposals out by an email and it could be that i attach a pdf before i did this i used just simple signing software where basically it was like a pdf that was signed at the end um, but that's it i didn't really have anything flashy like this at all and then when i made this move i found that we actually did increase our rate of securing the quotes that we were sending out so if you do have any questions pop them in the comments i would love to answer any questions that you've got if there's anything specific you need to see let me know i'm happy to do a video to show you anything specific that you might need and of course inside the membership there will be a course showing how to set all this up step by step so that you can get yours working correctly for you. And of course, there's other there's other systems out there that you can do quotes for. This isn't the only one. This is the one that we're using right now. And you know what? I probably may end up using something else in the future, not because before I find it good, just because I love testing new software out. And I will only ever show you software that I recommend. I would never show you anything I do not recommend. I always think about the business owner, I always have you in mind when it comes to like the pricing and actually how you're going to use it and are the features actually worthwhile and all that kind of stuff. So yes, 100% recommend. Have a look, get yourself a trial, try it out, see what you think. We've got some lovely templates as well that you can use when you're actually making your proposals. So don't think that you've got to design it all by scratch. They have some absolutely amazing templates out there. And yeah, take care everybody and don't forget make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like the video and like i said let me know how you found it let me know if you use it and if you're thinking about using it